<laughs> Hello. 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 Welcome world. Uh, that, that's coming up. Uh, anyway. Yeah, we just watched Fury Road. <laughs> Fury, Fury, so you have not seen Fury Road. You, I have not for, seen Fury Road. For... The only Mad Max I've seen was late at night while I was half asleep. <laughs> the original Mad Max. Jaywalking. And it was honestly... Viewing yeah, Mel Gibson, asleep, right? Yeah, Mel Gibson. Viewing it half asleep was not the right idea. <laughs> because I thought it was terrible. I know it's probably good. I just thought it was terrible. Sure. I I know Beyond... or Was it Beyond I Thunderdome? Was, I think Beyond Thunderdome yeah, was Beyond the third one. Beyond Thunderdome is the third one. I need second to watch, one I is... I want to watch the second one because that's yeah. the, highest, the one that everyone thinks is the best. Yeah. I want to watch... Fury one. Road is awesome. But then I, I basically, I want to watch Fury Road last yeah. because it's the most modern, so it's got the best spectacle to yeah, it. Yeah, it was really good. Like, I watched it during COVID and I was like, man, this got, thing is awesome. And it's got... And it's the most like chronological. Tom Hardy, one of your favorite actors. Chron chronologically <laughs> latest, so I want to watch that one last. Yep. Um, so this weekend, I'm probably gonna be watching. Good. I'm happy for you. I'm probably gonna be watching. I'm happy movies. for you, but 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 I'm glad you like this one. So yeah. Something. All right. So I have no idea. I, I was in my head. I was. I was gonna say something, but this 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 movie, I'm, I'm glad you liked it because I liked it too. But the weird thing is like the CGI. The beginning thing. The beginning. The beginning. I'm, I'm I'm surprised that like the origin, like the like yeah. the hat, like the like the chat remarks. I don't. But, oh, by the way, I have no idea what's going on. With the people in the background. Oh, they What's going on in the background? Yeah, they were like half asleep the whole time. She like ran away with all those chapters. <laughs> anyway, oh, gracious. Anyway, I hope you didn't walk out. Anyway, no, I'm just kidding. Um, um, but like the, right the young, like Anna Taylor Joy was there. Um, oh, and then, never mind. We didn't say anything. Uh, Anna Taylor Joy showed up like halfway through. I was like, I, I was like, finally, there she is. But but somebody said, that's Mad Max right there. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Uh, like, because somebody said Furiosa doesn't show up halfway through the movie. I'm like, you're kidding, right? Yeah, no, 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 but but not, like but like, like not Furiosa. It's yeah. just the, the yeah. actress. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Chris Hemsworth was great. One thing that I couldn't tell, I could not tell if they slightly edited. The I don't think they did. I know face. the baby was. I know the Wait, baby was. Yeah, but the child actor's face, it seemed so slightly fake. It was disconcerting. I could I, I, I could tell more with the Mark Hamill in Mandalorian yeah, or yeah. Luke Skywalker in Mandalorian. Yeah. I didn't realize there were people back there. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. like, what are you doing in a restaurant? I just, I, I could not. That was the only distance. And like, there was a couple parts. I think they got their fall physics bad. Some every time someone. Yeah, fell, I, I think you'll like, appreciate Fury Road a bit more. Like they, they I think you'll appreciate Fury Road. And I, I heard like this one kind of deteriorated their, their the Mad Max franchise yeah, a little bit. But also, like, it was still really good. It was still really the good. Action was still, in, like. Impressive. impressive. It was impressive, but the thing I think, and, and don't take this the wrong way, because yeah. I love, I love movies, right? Yeah. So. Even though I really enjoyed it, was this a motorcycle? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, uh, that's one thing I'm excited about. I get to go home on a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's great. You can, you can, my viewers can appreciate it. Uh, anyway, uh, the thing I like about movies, or I don't think that they're going to continue this franchise. I don't. As, as opposed to apes, like, they have a plan, they have a, yeah. they have a thing yeah, in mind. Well, this one, that's the problem with this, was a prequel. So they can't really well, no, they, they had a story like after uh, Fury Road, yeah. and they and then they did this one with the prequel, and they're like, let's do a continuation of Fury Road. Or like, I, I, I don't well, see the, I don't I see the turn, I don't see the, watch, yeah. I need to watch Fury Road, but I think the biggest thing is that Fury Road seemed to me, from everything I heard about when it came out, obviously I was, I was too young when it first came out to watch it. Yeah, sure, me too. Um, but now when I can watch it, um, I. It seemed to me more like it was a passion project kind of thing. If they got, right. Like, they wanted to re revitalize Mad Max, and they took, they got someone. And they put a production team behind it. They yeah. really wanted to make a good Mad Max. Movie. Right, which, 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 which it is. Yeah. And I feel like with this one, oh, uh, with this one, like George Miller earlier said, like it didn't. At, since it didn't do as well, yeah. people were like, "Why do I need to buy?" Like it's it's a film too yeah. late. Like yeah, it's like it, it's, it's, it's a good it prequel. Came out nine, but nine, 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 yeah, nine, nine years. years old, yeah. Like, it, it just seems like it's it's it wasn't as much of a passion project as it was. We need to, we want to make money. Right. But it was still really good. It was still really it good. Was, I think that's the thing. Is it's going to be in my top five, though. I mean, it's definitely a top five movie of the year for me. Comparing it to Fury Road, which, again, I haven't seen, so it's yeah. kind of hard for me to say that. Yep. But from everything I've heard, I've watched a lot of reviews and things like that. Um, it seems like that's what a makes good it bad. But if you were to compare it to every other movie that's come out recently... It's kind of like, generic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like... The action scenes were great. The character development, like the different, the way that all the yeah. characters were. I also like the uh, uh, Furiosa herself, like yeah. John Wick, like not a lot of lines. Like I yeah. like that about the character. Yeah. Like, and yeah. they didn't make her really do anything unrealistic. Like there were some unrealistic things, but like mm. one of the biggest things about female action stars is they make them like they fight and it seems unrealistic. In this movie, everything she did I don't felt know. like she could do it. Yeah. If she was just also really strong and living in the desert and had all this training kind of thing, like based in the in universe, it made sense that she was able to do what she did. Um, I just was I don't know it was very cool yeah. I also really like 
I like an action scene that is just going somewhere. It, yeah, really. That, that's what I like about Fury Road because like, or, or like just chase movie, or just yeah, chase the scenes. The whole point of it is a chase scene. The entire movie is like the one thing. On the one thing about you know, I don't know if you saw Jurassic World Dominion. Me and Jonathan went to see that, no. but it was like. The, the, my favorite part of that movie is just like the dinosaur chasing yeah. out of the car like the rest, the rest of the movie is terrible but yeah. the one thing I, okay, so this is the thing about um, the first Mad Max yeah. that I didn't like there were so many times where it was just someone driving mm-hmm. and it didn't really make sense partly because I was half asleep and I didn't get catch half the plot but like there's this random sure. scene this guy just goes out on his motorcycle and crashes and then drives back I'm like I know there was probably a reason he did that why did he do that was it even like like in this movie like like you see like him like barging through that down the door or bar- one on one who's by himself on a motorcycle and then he I don't know. Mm-hmm. and then there's just I don't know I, I need to rewatch the first one when I'm awake I think that's my problem right okay now. I was I was saying probably don't it probably doesn't really matter because the last one like it doesn't have anything to do with this yeah, one it's I want to see it I just I, I, when I watch a movie series and I like it I want to watch the whole thing even if there's movies in it that I don't like. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, is, I, I just correlated Transformers like it, but you don't watch the bad, like the trans. I've like watched the, uh, one guy who's extremely passionate about Transformers in general mm-hmm. made a whole series reviewing. All yeah. Oh no, all no, I, I, I believe that. Like it's ter- like the first three are like the first three are the classics, okay. and then you get into Mark Wahlberg's like don't it's just, just your your life's gonna end right there. Hi. Um, but it's it's um yeah it was kind of wild. But anyway, <laughs> but this movie I really enjoyed. Chris Hemsworth. Yes. Because it didn't feel like a classic Chris Hemsworth. It was not classic. It, it was his like his prime. He, he did really well. Yeah. And then also Andy Taylor. It was like it was like this. Like I don't. Okay. After Marvel. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. and Oppenheimer and Chris Hemsworth yeah. and this have like. They've been good. Changed been their. Than yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm happy about that. Um, yeah. And then I just. It was cool to watch. I don't it know, was cool to watch because the plot is actually relatively simple. It's just a revenge story with extra yeah. elements put in. Yeah. I don't. It's. It's hard to know what to talk about. It's it is. Good. It, was a it, was, fun it was good. It was fun. Like, yeah. Because it didn't try to do too much, it was pretty simple. Like it, it was just good. It was I fun. Know. Good I, effects. I enjoyed that. Like, I say good effects, but like, not, not okay. Like, let me let me say this. Let Relative. me say this. Like, after Ant Man, Qu- uh, Quantum Mania, yeah. those Modok effects. But like, I feel like they did like. Well, I'm not just talking about Marvel, but like this, like they could do no wrong. Like this yeah, one. Yeah, it was just basically. Yeah, it was. It was good enough effects that even when for the dystopian like, wasteland everything well, yeah, and so even when I was like ooh and like it kind of took me out of it for a second it wasn't bad enough that I was like I can't this is the worst movie scene. yeah it was like it was it was like okay that they messed up a little bit there that person fell out of fell off their bike a little too fast or something like, like, <laughs> yeah the physics were a little funky but it was still like the action made sense yeah it was still very good um yeah it just it was fun it wasn't like after eight quantum mania were like yeah. That was terrible. I'm never watching it again. Yeah, it was like yeah. I can watch this more. Like I can just watch this again. Yeah, yeah. And I would also, especially the big thing is, if I watched it like on a home screen, mm-hmm. like a TV at home, a lot of those flaws I wouldn't be able to notice as much. Because, the, the falling over. Yeah, because like it's a smaller screen. This yeah. Is, so it's harder to see the little things going wrong. Yeah. So I think it's actually probably, if I could have the sound from the movie theater mm-hmm. on the screen of a home screen, it might actually be a better viewing experience. <laughs> yeah. Because then the I car, could, the car revvings and everything like, is great. I could get the feeling of it, but I wouldn't have to focus on the, the bad visuals or the poor visuals, not yeah. bad. I don't know. Except that... I love the Oh My Cabbages. I don't know. The Avatar yeah. reference. <laughs> it was like, what is this Avatar reference? I don't know. It was just... It was really good. It was really good. It was really good. I think that's... I'm going to have to turn this, though, because I think... I think that's the extent of my thoughts. <laughs> yes. <sir. laughs> good, sir.